Why am I nervous? Hey guys, um, so by the title of this video, you guys obviously know that. <coughs> Hi everyone, I am about to show you guys my skincare routine. I've been getting a lot of DMs about what I've been doing for my skin recently so i thought i would just make a quick video i've been saying i'm gonna make this video for the longest time but i feel like now's the time because i'm actually quite happy with the way my skin's been looking lately so yeah let's just get right into it most of the products that i'm going to be using um are from the ordinary if you guys aren't sure or if you're interested in getting these products i bought them on cult beauty and by the way this video is not sponsored you guys might think that it's an ad or whatever but it's actually things that i use so i start off with this cleanser by garnier i actually double cleanse this cleanser is for unclogging pores, visibly reducing and preventing spots and marks um, and it has a salicylic acid in it which is really good for um, blackheads and just pimples and things in general so I like to start off with this um, I don't always do it but if I feel like my skin needs that extra um, super like clean or I am breaking out or whatever then I will start off with this. So I've wet my face with lukewarm water. I like to use warm or lukewarm water because I feel like it's not as harsh as harsh as harsh. I feel like it's not as harsh on my skin so I use not a big amount like I just try to like rub it on my fingertips so I just really take my time and massage my skin in circular motions really paying attention to like my chin and my cheeks because those are the areas that I tend to break out the most and then also my nose because I have a lot of blackheads on my nose and that ain't cute so we need to get rid of those <music> So now I'm going to be going in with this The Ordinary Squalene, 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 should have maybe googled how to say this before I made the video but it's a cleanser and this cleanser you actually use on dry skin which is why I do the other wash first. So this is basically just to restore like moisture in my skin and the consistency of this is like gel like um, which is quite cool and then as you rub it in your hands it turns into like an oil so then I just work that into my skin and I like this cleanser because I feel like it really cleans my skin without making it feel dehydrated it adds like a lot of moisture to my skin and when I take my makeup off I will wipe my face with um, like wet wipes and then I'll wash it but after that I'll cleanse with this cleanser and it takes absolutely everything off like you wouldn't even imagine how much product still comes off your face so really just working it in and I don't know if you guys can see but it's like an oil and it feels so nice and again just packing all of that water off my face so now I'm going to be going in with this Hyaluronic Acid from The Ordinary. So it's Hyaluronic Acid 2% and basically this just also um, adds moisture and tightens my pores as well which I love. Honestly this stuff makes my skin so nice. So I do 3 drops of this. Just like that, onto my fingers. And I work that into my skin, but I'm, when doing this, I try to go up like that. And then I also don't work it in my skin. Ooh, I also don't work it into my skin too much. So I'll do that and then I'll kind of like pat it. Right, 
So with skincare or like with any type of regime, like skincare routine or whatever, you always want to go from your cleanser to the thinnest consistency, um, like the product with the thinnest consistency to the product with the thickest cons consistency. So you'll do your face wash, your serums, whatever amount of serums or whatever serums that you use and then moisturizer, if it's a thick moisturizer, some people use gel. Basically just building with the like viscosity of the product. If it's thicker then you'll use it last and if it's thinner you start off with that. Just because you want all of these serums and things that are rich in vitamins and stuff, you want it to soak into your skin. Um, so it's better to do that on a belly face. <laughs> Not me sounding so like I know things more. Basically this is the natural moisturizing factors surface hydration formula. So this is a moisturizer that comes with the face wash. Two or together. So they work together. So I use like this amount on my skin and again just rubbing it into my fingertips and really working it in. All of the products from the the ordinary they don't have a smell, they're not scented, which I like because I also have really sensitive skin so I can't be using things that have like fragrance in them or um, that are very like perfumey so love that. And now that I'm done with my moisturizer, I like to do sunscreen. Um, I wear sunscreen every single day. It's very important. If you guys aren't wearing sunscreen, you have no idea like how bad the sun is for your skin. Like not bad, but like the sun really damages your skin. So we always want to be safe and protected. So for sunscreen, I use the Superhero SPF by Switch Beauty. Um, I really like this sunscreen because it's SPF 50 but it doesn't leave like that kind of white cast or like blue cast over your face and it smells nice. It smells like um it smells like lemon, it's like lemon grass vibes or oranges. Very citrusy. This is something that I use every single day just because I really like wearing sunscreen. And it makes my skin really nice and glowy without making it look all the fluff from the down. So I like this um, sunscreen as well because it makes my skin glowy without making it look greasy. A lot of SPFs or a lot of sunscreens make your face look super oily and greasy and this just it does not do that. It gives me like a nice healthy looking skin. Yeah. She's giving. She's giving. <laughs> so I thought I would just try and show you guys my skin in this lighting. Yo, you guys are really close to my face. So that was my skincare routine um, from start to finish. I have a different nighttime routine so if you guys want to see my night routine and what i do um, to exfoliate and stuff like that then let me know in the comments and let me know if you guys like this video as well um i've been wanting to get back into making videos and doing more beauty related things so if it was something that you enjoyed then Please show me some love and thank you guys for watching i hope that it was very informative and i thought that i would end of the video by giving you a few tips um, as well tips that i've been trying to use as well just to maintain my skin so number one would be obviously drinking water try to drink as much water as you can i struggle with that but i have been trying a bit more recently because it is quite important and that's also why I have been using hydrating products as well because my skin I notice has been very very dry and like dehydrated lately so drink your water number two would be not touching your face all the time and not having your hair in your face all the time 
because your hands are dirty and your hair might also not be as clean so you don't want to have stuff in your face all the time like touching your face is just not ideal and then lastly would be give your skin some rest for us ladies who wear makeup quite often, try to give your skin a break, let it breathe for like a few days or just take the time out to really like give your skin the attention that it needs. It's very important and it's also quite um, therapeutic as well. I think my when I'm at home um, and I have the time to like do like a full on skincare routine and pamper myself it's so therapeutic and relaxing so take the time out for yourself and yeah that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye